hello guys and welcome back so now as you know that in this video we will be starting the game so as you know that in our previous videos we have added the start and leave button and as i told you we will be only showing the start button only to that player which is the owner of the current room okay and also for starting the game make sure that if you click on the build settings right here make sure that you have the menu and the game scene added right here and also you can see their numbers the menu is on number zero and the game is on number one so we want to now load the number one scene okay so on the launcher script right here uh, above uh, the leave room or join room you can just create anywhere this method which will be by the name of start game okay and now for starting the game we're gonna say photon network dot load level and as i told you we want to load the level one okay after this we want to automatically load the uh, scene one for all of the players Okay, without any waiting so where it is our on connect to master okay right here what we're gonna do we're gonna say photon network dot auto medically sync scene and this is gonna be equals to true okay and also at the top make sure that you have the system dot link real time and photon dot one added okay so now we are able to automatically uh, load the scene for all of our clients okay now after this as i told you we will be only showing the start button only to our owner or you can say only to our master client so for that right here at the top let's create a reference to our start button so we will say public game object let's name this as start button okay then when we have the reference now if we scroll down to our own joined room method right in here we are gonna say start button dot set active and we're gonna say photon network dot is master client so what this means this means that if the master client is true then the start button will be showing and if it is false it will not be showing then okay and now uh, for example if uh, one of the player is a master client create a room and then if other players uh, joins that room okay and then if the master clients leave the room then of course there will be no start button available to the other players so what we want to do right here is we want to uh, switch the owner tag or you can say the master clown, uh, client tag to the other players okay so if one master client goes offline or leave the room then we will make other client the new master client okay so for that let's do it right below right here we're gonna say public overwrite void on master client switched okay this is our default method which photon pun gives okay which is a really good thing so we're gonna say new master client and now in here what we're gonna do is we're gonna just simply copy that and paste it down below if we now save the script get back to unity click on the start button now and right here let's add on click event let's drag and drop the canvas in there and then from our launcher we're gonna select the method start game right here 
and when you do that then click on canvas and drag and drop the start button in there as well okay then what we can do we can disable the room menu do that clear that out okay everything is set up let's actually now build the game okay let's go ahead and start the game from here as well okay here it is let's now create a room from this side so test okay we have one player right there and as you can see since this is the master client we can see the start uh, game button if you now click on find room join test as you can see the start button right here is disabled okay we have both of the player in here now if we leave the room from here as you can see the start button is now assigned to this player since this is the master client okay we can now leave that room again if you click on find room no room available let's create a room okay and here it is let's join this room and now let's click on start game and now as you can see the game is start here is our camera okay for now if you notice uh, if we move our player from both of the sides they can move but of course for now our game is not online okay we will be making our game online so that both of the players can see each other okay for now it is just a single player game okay not a multiplayer game but don't worry we will be doing that in our upcoming videos now okay we will be spawning our player whenever the game start okay and you will see what we will do in the next video